So chlorella is, um, so most people take spirulina in the morning, in the afternoon, or before a workout, because that's when you're hungry or you want energy and you want focus and all that sort of stuff, or, uh, or, or for your workout. Chlorella is a completely different algae. It's a, it's a, a green algae, and it's a wellness algae. Uh, and we're gonna talk about what makes it a wellness algae, but it helps you basically recover your health, recover from sports, recover from drinking. So we call ours recovery bits because we thought that was a whole lot easier than chlorella, which people can't say or spell. So unlike spirulina, which has the highest protein in the world, chlor chlorella has the highest chlorophyll in the world. It has 500 times more chlorophyll than arugula. And this is uh, another, we were, you were mentioning about, you know, people bashing vegetables, you know, and I can understand why, because quite honestly, these days, there's so little nutrients in the vegetables anyways, because the soils are so damaged, even if you eat organic, they're flown in from far, far away. They're harvested before they're they're completely ripe, so the all the enzymes can't get to the to to the leaves or the fruit. So you're eating calories and you're eating fiber, but you're not getting nutrition. Um, so chlorella, because it's so concentrated in chlorophyll, I mean you could eat a room full of arugula and not come close to the chlorophyll that's in a single serving of chlorella. It's called chlorella because of the chlorophyll. So what's so important about chlorophyll? Well, here's that chart again. Remember I showed you how the hemoglobin and, and chlorophyll are virtually identical. Um, so if you're looking to build your blood, because if you have healthy blood, you're gonna have healthy bones, healthy brain, healthy immune system. This is the way to do it, is with chlorophyll. Chlorophyll has been used for forever until the you know, last 50 years when the pharmaceutical companies got hold of us. Even up as recently as the World War II, they would give chlorophyll to the injured um, because they would heal just as fast as if they had a blood transfusion. That's how healing it is, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll can be used topically on injuries as well. And, and naturopaths and homeopaths still recommend chlorophyll. But even still, there's if you took, if you, a lot of people are now buying liquid chlorophyll, but chlorella even has 25 times more chlorophyll than liquid chlorophyll because liquid chlorophyll is made from alfalfa sprouts. There's nothing with more chlorophyll than chlorella algae. Okay, so it, spirulina the most protein, chlorella the most chlorophyll. Spirulina has no cellular wall, chlorella has the hardest cellular wall. It sort of reminds me of how siblings, you know, they have to be different from one another. You know, you, you wanna do that, you wanna be the arty person, well, I'll be the business person. So chlorella's hard cell wall is very important because it attaches to toxins of any kind, doesn't matter whether it's heavy metals like lead, mercury, aluminum, um, which is also in vaccines. Um, it attaches to alcohol. If you've had wine, beer, or spirits, it attaches to lactic acid. So athletes take it after a workout to pull out lactic acid so their muscles aren't sore. But we are so loaded with, with toxins. It doesn't matter whether it's, again, from glyphosate or you know toxins in your cosmetics. Um, this pulls it out. We also, it's used, we have a protocol for Lyme disease where it pulls out the dead mites. Um, by the way, people probably don't know this, but our bodies have, I think something like 60 trillion cells die every day in our bodies, Tri 60 trillion. And dead cells are toxic. So if you don't remove those dead cells, they, they, they become toxic, attract bacteria. This affects the, the cellular pH you become more acidic, see what happens. So it's not just the toxics that are exogenous, it's the toxics that, toxins that are in, endogenous, that are inside us as well. So we all have to find a way to get rid of these toxins. I say taking chlorella is like having a shower on the inside every day. We take a shower on the outside, you need a shower on the inside too. So chlorella does that for you. The other thing about chlorophyll, as I mentioned, um, yeah, or I may, may not have yet, but um, it, it heals the cell walls. Now, your health, whether it's good or bad, all start at the cellular level and the mitochondria that are in the cellular level, in, in the cells. And to keep those mitochondria healthy, you have to be sure that you keep the um, uh, antioxidants, lots of antioxidants so they don't get damaged by the reactive oxygen species. You have to be sure that there aren't too many toxins in there because it could change the pH of the cell. So one of the ways to do that is keep your cell walls permeable. And you do that with fats, omega-3s and any kind of fat, healthy fats, not the sixes. So chlorella um, is a fat-based pigment. I'm gonna show you a picture if I can find it. 
because it really, I, I find visuals really helpful. Um, this is a picture of the spirulina with, it has two pigments, remember the blue one and, the, and chlorophyll. The blue one is called phycocyanin. And see how it disperses beautifully through the water? And then here is chlorella with just chlorophyll. See how it clumps? I did this experiment 20 or 30 times. I couldn't figure out what was going on until I had my epiphany. Phycocyanin, which is in the spirulina, is a water-based pigment. Chlorophyll, and this is confirmed by science, is a fat-based pigment. So it doesn't disperse through the water like a water-based pigment does. This is why chlorophyll supports your cell walls. And when you have permeable cell walls, nutrients can get in and toxins can get out. And the best analogy I've given to people is imagine chlorophyll as window washers for your cell walls. Because when your windows are dirty, you can't see out and sunlight can't get in. So when your cell walls aren't permeable or they're damaged, nutrients can't get in and toxins can't get out. And that contributes to an acidic cellular pH. It causes damage of the mitochondria, which then leads to fatigue and disease and a thousand other things. So chlorella algae is the best way to prevent that a damaged cell wall because it, it heals it. And the third, uh, well, there's lots of other cool things about chlorof chlorella, but um, while we're talking about the cell wall, it does have a little bit of fiber in it, which uh, can contributes to the um, feeding the microbiome and the, um, the bacteria down there to release the short chain fatty acids, which is why it's been used for um, IBS, Crohn's, and lots of other sort of gut issues. Um, chlorella also has the highest amount of tryptophan in the world. Um, which is a precursor to melatonin and serotonin. So it does help with sleep. It won't make you sleepy, it just facilitates sleep. It has the highest concentration of RNA and DNA in the world. And as you get older, these become damaged. And so they re replicate in a damaged form. And it has something called chlorella growth factor, which speeds up the growth of your cells. So you heal literally in half the time from injury or surgery. Chlorella is a game changer for your health. It has all the nutrients that your immune system needs by the way, most people, I don't know if you know this, but 80% of your immune system is in your gut. And your, uh, the, the way your immune system works is that when you have a pathogen entering your body, like a virus or anything, um, your gut and your immune system will create killer cells, B cells, T cells, macrophages, all these, all these different cells to attack, kill, and remove the pathogen. But to create those cells, your immune system needs nutrients. It needs the iron and it needs zinc and it needs B6 and, and, and they're all in the algae. So it's a very simple and safe and proven way to support your immune system to protect you. And also if you are sick to, um, to help you heal a lot faster. So mo most people take, we recommend you could take it throughout the day as you could spirulina. But since your body goes through a, a um, repair and detox cycle when you're sleeping. We certainly recommend that you take them at night. Take them any other time, but definitely take them before you go to bed because then you'll have a much better repair um, and detox uh, while you're sleeping. Uh, it's sort of like your cleanup crew. And um, it also stimulates peristalsis. So, you know, elimination is a big part of health. Um, so you'll have a very successful trip to the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> very nice. So that, yeah, so the two of them, as you can see, spirulina, I, I say Mother Nature had a bit of a sense of humor. She gave us spirulina to get us up and you know ready for the party of the day or whatever. And then she gave us chlorella uh, when the day is over or the party is over to help us recover, pull out what we didn't need and uh, or shouldn't have had. And uh, we're ready to go the next day. Like seriously, they are the power couple of the 21st century.